2020, everyone. This is the summary. So for our first topic of discussion today, we had no power. Comes the real test of post Sandy protocols. That's because we expect storm surge, street flooding, wind gusts over 65 miles an hour. There was a blackout all through New York and I, all over the East Coast. Um, people, millions without power, um, including us. Uh, we lost power and actually we just got it back yesterday. Why am I not surprised? In every end of the world crisis, there's always a storm. Tracking Isaias, the tropical storm may be on the way out, but the damage left behind will be felt for days to come. The massive power outages, the aftermath, and the cleanup now underway. Good evening. Thanks for joining us on such a busy day. I'm Natalie Pascarella. Tropical storm Isaias quickly moving out of our area, but leaving millions of people without power. Now the cleanup starts. The storm responsible for at least two confirmed tornadoes. The wind was the biggest issue for us, causing major tree and building damage all across our area damn millions without power i'll tell you what you can't do without power make stupid videos defending the protest i mean riots in the streets to be completely honest i'd have more info lined up for this but there's not much more to say nothing like leaving a massive storm leaving many people without power in the middle of a quarantine now all we need to create the perfect storm see see what i did there is for trump to attempt to forcibly delay the election What's that? Oh, oh, he is? Tonight, a backlog of undelivered mail is piling up in post offices around the country. Now, with widespread use of mail-in ballots expected in November because of the coronavirus, workers are blaming the new Postmaster General, a top Republican campaign donor who has given more than $1.1 million to the Trump Victory Fund. Here's CBS's Ben Tracy. Okay. Today, President Trump continued his unsubstantiated attacks on voting by mail. This is going to be the greatest election disaster in history. And now there are concerns that cost-cutting at the Postal Service, overseen by a key Trump ally, could undermine postal workers' ability to deliver ballots in time to be counted, allowing President Trump to question the election. If you do universal mail-ins with millions and millions of ballots, you're never going to know what the real the real result of an election. We're being demanded in one way or another with these new policies to delay mail. You want to cancel the election or postpone the election? Really? Did he learn that from Putin or something? So basically, the president is claiming that mail-in voting will corrupt the election. So he wants to delay the election. Members of Congress in both parties have flat out rejected these suggestions. Bruh, Trump has got to be the worst at this. I mean, this is like if a villain in a movie told their entire plan to everyone before they managed to properly execute it. Oh, wait. Now, sure, it's funny to joke about it. If you look through history, this is how it starts. How a democracy turns into a dictatorship. Now, don't get me wrong, we're far from that. However, delaying the election is a big problem on its own, and if not handled correctly, will be an even bigger problem. Now, we all know Donald Trump has a tendency to have trouble pronouncing certain words when young americans experience the breathtaking beauty of the grand canyon when their eyes widen in amazement as old faithful bursts into the sky when they gaze upon yosemites yosemites towering sequoias their love of country grows stronger in this case he was talking about one of america's famed national parks now if any of you weren't clear what he was trying to say the word is Yosemite, the U.S. National Park Yosemite, which he pronounced Yosemite. Um, but I wonder how many, like, Trump staffers are just in the back, just, like, face palming the whole time, just like, oh my god, what are we, why, why, why? If I'm being honest here, if I looked at that word for the first time, I probably wouldn't be able to pronounce it either. Now, granted, I'm also a 16-year-old dyslexic and not the President of the United States. Okay, now, let's move on to... I wouldn't call it good news, but it is hilariously funny. Invasion of the goats. That was the scene in one neighborhood after a herd of goats got loose. The goats managed to knock over an electric fence and took a leisurely stroll through the streets. 
Neighbors had to open up a side gate and lead the goats back where they were supposed to be. Nobody was hurt, but there was some minor damage. Hey, 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 hey. Oh my god, the world is ending. This is it. This is how the world ends. A pack of goats running through the streets. See what's happening now? Because we're all having to stay home because of the quarantine, all the animals think we're gone and they're just going to roam the streets now. Take over the world. What? Excuse me? They, they were here before us? But, I mean, I know I keep saying this, but 2020 has got to be the craziest year ever. I mean, the only thing that would make this complete now is if there was a worldwide pandemic that forced us all to change our lives. So I would normally have like a whole segment for COVID-19 based on what I've read and watched and seen. Everything I said in last week's video still kind of stands. The only difference is Governor Cuomo said that we can go back to school. He announced that the schools can reopen. The problem with this is I don't want to, not because I don't want to go back to school, I mean, I don't want to go back to school, but not because I don't want to go back to school. There is an online option. I'll be doing the online option that that they are also giving us um, because I don't want to be like the test subject to see if school is safe to go back to right now. Anyways, guys, um, that is the end of our show today. So I hope you all enjoyed uh, the second episode of the summary. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys have any suggestions for topics you want me to talk about, comment section down below and I'll look into them. But guys, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already to stay updated with the channel. Have a great day whenever you're watching this and I will see you guys in the next one.